These were thought lost forever. What can this mean? Ah, they've already been dispelled. If he has the ability to shift such a huge tower into another dimension, just how powerful is he? Really powerful. He's really strong. He's really fucking awesome. Yeah, that we kill him really easily. Don't it doesn't really count though. Huh, <laughs> I've still got time, don't I? This is Lazard's Hmm. His penmanship hasn't gotten any better, that's for sure. Can't tell if he's writing in code or just can't write at all. Oh, she left one, yeah. Man made life form. It is! It's a homunculus! Hmm. I didn't know he was into little girls. Why else would he make this? It's accurate right down to the naughty bits. Ooh, that perv! How could you leave this sick thing lying around for decent girls like me to find? I didn't come all the way here in spirit form for this. This is way more information than I needed. Ugh. But, oh, I know. at least. Long time no see. Want a drink? So how'd you get so powerful, anyway? A magic question right off? You haven't changed a bit. Lazard, you did her in, didn't you? I'm sorry? Alright, alright. I'll tell you. You're the one who hasn't changed. Whatever. Get to the point. The Philosopher's Stone. I found it. Oh, what? Well, figuratively speaking, I did. A more apt description of the stone would be the 10 billion page codex. It's not as if all the world's knowledge is suddenly yours after obtaining it. It must be read. By the way, I have a favor I'd like to ask. A favor? Misty, you took my homunculus, didn't you? I'd like it back, if you don't mind terribly. Oh, and I don't want to seem as if I'm just demanding it back. I might be willing to compensate you with something. I didn't know you had such scandalous fetishes, Lazard. Please, ask of me whatever you like. It is a very important thing to me. Oh, alright. Well then, I'll go first. What I want is information about Bifrost. Bifrost, the Rainbow Bridge? Right. The single connection between Asgard and Midgard. I'd like to stand atop the summit of Yggdrasil where it is said that Odin hung as he received his wisdom. The only thing that can satisfy your wants and desires is knowledge, hmm? Somehow I'm not surprised, Misty. What? Are you saying you're any different? At least I don't have a, a, a Lolita complex. Reality is so boring. I'd choose to sleep forever if it didn't mean I'd never stop dreaming. Ugh. Ugh. 
Who said that the rainbow bridge is in the forest of the world tree? Where the elves live? That's right. Wh that can't be. Oh. Really? Ooh, those elves piss me off. Who do they think they are, anyway? They never leave that damn forest and keep totally to themselves. I wish they'd all just crawl into a hole and die somewhere. Oh my, that would be very bad indeed. Oh yeah? Why? You know what the elves are responsible for, don't you? Yeah, yeah, they protect Yggdrasil. I know. If the world tree would wither and die, so would the world. Indeed, most people do not know that. Hmm, I don't know about you, but I paid attention in theology class. Just listen to me, please. During the process of development on my homunculi, I learned something very interesting. <sighs> the gods require elves to walk upon Midgard. In so many words, they are the vessels of the gods. Yeah, and? To get further to the point, all of themselves can be considered gods. Also, I've demonstrated that children can be born between humans and elves. No way! No, it's true. In fact, Odin himself is a half-elf. Okay, that is interesting. And what proof do you have? It's a really long cutscene. You know the tale of the time Odin gained the throne of the gods, yes! Yes? You mean the creation myth? Yeah, that would... Why is that capitalized? <laughs> Come on now. Yes, I suppose. After the Great War, Odin ascended to the throne of the gods. But the world was left a blackened husk and no life remained on it, so Odin created the second race of man. Interesting. That is why he is called the Allfather. You're boring me to death, Lazard. Uh oh, that's foreshadowing. Odin used to be a rather weak god indeed. So then, how did he manage to become Lord of the Gods? Did you never wonder that, Misty? Um, well, now that you mention it... Humans are incomplete beings. Gods, then, can be considered the final evolution of man. What the fuck? This is about to be some classic JRPG anti-theology. But are static. However, Odin was different because he's a half elf. That's right. Because Odin's divine blood was mixed with mortal, he has the ability to grow, just as we humans do. Okay. Combining the finest traits of all beings, Odin was finally able to secure the throne. Hmm. 
Now this is where it gets interesting. Oh god. His voice is so good, his voice acting is so good. Use the vessels we call elves to travel through Midgard to protect the world tree. You're repeating yourself, Lazard. <clears throat> Listen well, Misty. It's possible to transfer human souls into elves. There it is, conclusive proof that gods and human souls are roughly equivalent beings. Woo! So you're talking about moving souls from one body to another? Do you know what my homunculi are crafted from? They're half elf, half human. Correct. My homunculi are essentially half elves. If I were to shift my soul into the body of a homunculus, might I not become a god? Whoa. This guy's fucking nuts. I like it. Well, that's about it. At any rate, it would be pointless to move the homunculus now. I no longer have anywhere to store it. I shall come to call again another day. Just break away and travel in spirit form. Hmm. This is supposed to be a recruitment cutscene, which means she has to die at some point. The ability to completely transcend space is definitely the plus of this condition. Misty, can you hear me? I have ambitions beyond becoming a god, you know. I am able to refine magics that will allow me to seal a divine being within a homunculus. I will be able to challenge even the gods themselves. And at the same time, I will make the goddess I love, my own. Is it not almost too good to be true? Yeah, it, it is, actually. Lazard? Oh no. Misty, you shall have the sleep you so desire. Dream your dreams somewhere other than this plane. That is all I care about. Does this not satisfy you? Oh no. He's gonna kill her while she's fucking astral. Your existence was a bit of a threat to me, I must admit. Wow. He's just super evil. Would you care to journey with us? If you should join us, it may be possible for you to research Bifrost and Yggdrasil. Oh, they use the Yggdrasil. Hmm. Fine. I'll come with you. <sighs> I mean, it's not as if I really have any other choice, do I? Indeed. And you don't have to tempt me with stupid promises either. He's just a jerk. Besides, it might be fun to haunt that little freak. <laughs> 